Pino Black folks is out with nature today and I just wanted to show you the wild jet stream we have going north and south in America today. And yes, right here. Okay. Because I'm up in North America, the very top of America, and we had this wild north jet stream today. Okay. And yes, this is from Solar Artists and shows you the Canadian view of the jet stream, uh, which we can trust. And I'm not sure if it's this that moved over earlier or if this is an upper layer, but there was a golden eagle that was having a blast hauling ass north. Okay, and he would come back low and go back up and go as fast as he could go, and he was having a blast. I was watching a golden eagle today, ladies and gentlemen, a golden eagle. Okay, so we get some wild jet stream action keeping those temperatures up. So let's go to the IntelliCast and we'll take a look at the temperatures. And then you see these jet streams here. But there was an eagle today on this front here of the air right there. And he was having a flip in blast. Okay. So he must have got in one of these 100 mile lower layers or something like that. Or in between them. Because he was hauling butt as fast as I've ever seen a big eagle go. And no, folks, straight out, it was an eagle. Uh, didn't have my jacket with the camera in it. So could have took my phone, I guess, and took a shot, but I don't think you would have saw it very good. But a beautiful golden eagle, and he was flying north and com coming back low altitude and then going back up and just hauling butt, and he was having a blast. Real wild air currents were got. Okay, so watch your jet streams, okay? Very interesting. And remember, there's way more than one because there's high, low, medium. There's probably all kinds with the way that they've got this air moving around. So he was in probably something like this here, trough there probably. Uh, more identical to it is basically, I guess, that trough, I suppose. And then he was having fun because it matches up with this here and basically this here. So an actual animal of Mother Nature having fun with these wild jet streams that we have. And through the data, we've been having breakup, as we've been seeing a little bit. But there's one that I was going to show you that basically shows a major breakup on the data. And I think, yep, I think if I go up, yep, boom. So Radio Flux is having something down or something, or big CME action. And basically, we'll go up to this. And I'll also, sh I think I can get time to show you the meatball action from yesterday. Anyway, there's your track action that was either electrical statically hitting the sun or marble roll, one or the other. And what's wild is it looks way more like marble roll because you see it on that layer a lot. Okay, it goes up, around, boom, boom. Okay, so we always end up seeing it here too, but basically this green one or yellowish green tender one shows it where it doesn't really break up and then something goes in deep enough where we get this big flare on a path of this either static electrical or marble roll so and let's go up and look at the aurora there's where it's just for quakes hopefully if i pull up the earthquake real fast let's see what we got going for quakes cme action looks like stereo a is getting some cme action again directly on wow so that might be some of the telemetry that's down on that radio flux and then we go up and we, and as you see, they're showing motion which way we are going, I believe, the arrow does. And you, we're off, which is new to the right, up on the North Pole, to the east, east, southeast, which is a, somewhat of a new wiggle of late. And then we had this here solar flare there, but then also this here action up here. And, I've been constantly telling you, and then I'm going to try to see if I can pull the meatball action up that I got again really fast too. And then so from behind, and then remember that's from ahead. Okay, so that's that flare there. Okay, so remember when you're looking at ahead, I mean when you're looking at behind, you got to turn it around. Okay, ahead, that's from looking from the right side when you're standing outside and you're looking up at the sun. The head is up on the right hand side, okay, looking at it, looking towards the sun, and then B is over on the left hand side looking towards the sun when you on Earth are looking at the sun. Okay, and there's your moon action right now, and then let's see what they got for active unsettled. Alright. So
and to speed too real fast is uh, and the uh, the density is down, and the speed solar wind speed is mid range, and the temperature is what's wild. So keep an eye on that temperature, okay? And remember, we're getting that sun energy from more than just the sun out there, the super giants, because as you can see, the temperature on the sun is not high, okay? I hope Lisa doesn't mind, but I want to thank Lisa Wald, a geophysicist, a geophysicist with USGS, Earthquake Hazards Program. She sent me a new link and told me that, now I have not checked to see if this works yet. We'll work on this and see if this, uh, I'll give it time to, I'll even give them a little bit of time. So I don't know if they watch my videos, I kind of doubt that. So anyway, but I want to thank her. I contacted her and basically the USGS Earthquake Hazards Program, Golden, Colorado. Thank you very much, Lisa. Uh, or whoever, whoever it may concern. Thank you for giving me a link, and hopefully it'll work. Okay. Now I want to show you the meatball, and also the resignation of possibly another mass object, in which we know from all the data that we've seen that I was able to expose to you in the last what 50 videos or something like that. There was one of them that I showed you with the papers from NASA on this action, and you can see something to the right right here you can see a curve right there so it looks like another meatball or mass object behind the massive meatball okay and we know that there's these massive objects in space and I appreciate the person that did send in and it's kind of hard to think of stuff real fast here and cutting this video real fast but I'll basically don't have time for emails and I do try to answer most everybody in putting something up uh, the next couple videos I'll probably see some of my emails and try to throw some answers in to some of them uh, and basically here's meatball action okay you got this here and this is a huge cme and this was the the newest i had from this array here which starts at like uh and i'll pull this one up as we look at the other shot from a and the colorization so there's movement that we have of it okay and we know that it's coming across because we pretty much know i believe that this is mercury and i think this is venus and i could be wrong on that but either either this is the two planets that are there, and that's the meatball. And let's go ahead and take a look, take a look at the red colorization shot. And now you can see the CME action there. And to what I think if I just hit that, there you go, was the shot previous. Okay, and I know we have this up here we can work with too. So let me see if I can load some. So this is from the 25th on this. Uh, and there's the meatball. And let's see if we can peeky-poo and look at a little bit and see if we can see anything of the other resonation of the other object. The only thing I can say that we see is that there looks to be a curvature right here. Okay, then you have to try to see what that matches up with, with the other one. But then we have CME action there, and like I guess I was right on the Mercury and Venus, they got this one marked. And then we'll move down on this and we'll see the, the newest shot on that. As you see the time and the date there, and it should get fresher as we go down the line of the pictures. So let's go down to the bottom here, take the new and as we look at that, you know, maybe this could be CME action that we see there, but it sure looks like a very interesting object because it comes through the layers, and this is like looking through sand because all this gives an impression. And that this shot was from uh, the 24th, uh, f 400 hours. Actually, I'm wrong on that. That's uh, 49 minutes. Sorry about that. No time for cutting. Let's go down and look at the bottom of this here. And we'll get the freshest shot that we have on that. And there you go there. So, and this one was at 2300 hours on the 24th. Okay, and then we go back to the color shot that we loaded up. And here we go out of this. And like I say, when they are nailing uh, the... Uh, astronauts on an interview question I'm not going to advertise for the news agency that had the interview that got it requested through to the, the International Space Station but when they uh, are talking to so-called astronauts on the International Space Station they are smart enough to shut their mouth and say that they stare at the earth all the time and they don't look out at the other way they didn't say they don't look out of the, the other windows I'm not going to put words in their mouths but they were politically correct of the one guy in the black shirt shutting his mouth up and lips and biting his tongue real hard at the idea that he didn't want to make any comments of looking at anything else out into space 
besides Earth. Now, I knew that this stuff is way the hell far out, and they maybe there's a quite possibility that they can't see some of it from way afar. Ho-hum, ho-ha. But anyway, uh, Soho is way far away from the space station and stuff like that, and there's mass distances, but the idea that they know this stuff's out there, so you know that they're looking out the other windows, but they politically correct that they're magnetized to looking at the Earth all the time. They just are amazed with there's so much to be staring at it all the time, and I kind of understand that too, but the idea that I'd be looking out the other windows too. You want to see what's in the dark out the back door because the sun and the supergiants and this CME action here flashes on it. You can see the front side of Venus and Mercury facing the sun, and the back door, Earth is somewhere here behind in a V action, but somewhere directly back, back in a V, Earth is directly back here, somewhere in between here, Mercury and Venus, somewhere behind Mercury and Venus is Earth somewhere, and meatball is out our back door. That huge meatball is out our back door. All right, and then like I'm showing you on the shots from the layers, we see what we have no matter what, and there sure looks to be some kind of action there. Either that, that's huge action that CME's doing on all these stars and stuff through space out there. So that's the CME action. You got your whole map up here. Even if I make a mistake, and that's Earth right there. And we uh, have stereo A here that is there. Mars is back here, and that's why Mars is quite close to us right now. Okay, I don't know if it always stays in the same distance from Earth all the time, but it only takes two years of space travel right now, what they have engineered, to get a probe, which is basically Curiosity that's going up to Mars right now. And there's Mars right there, out our back door. So, if we get a shot of Mars, we know that the meatball doesn't block uh, us seeing Mars and possibly, but we haven't seen anything. So if you're seeing something with Mars on it, but I haven't looked, been looking for that, but I will be in the, in the rest of the week or next week be looking for to see what we get see for a shot of Mars and see if the meatball is blocking it that much right now. Because the meatball is somewhere out there in space, as you see, I showed you in the shots. Okay, So stereo ahead is getting a huge CME action, and as you see also, Earth has this CME action statically coming by our aurora and watch your dates up here going through to the fifth it looked like it went up to yep fifth or sixth okay and wordpress has a good site here and i think you can see the address up here if not i'll highlight it there and i'll see if i can try to cut and highlight and put it in here but basically uh kudos because the idea they can show you a lot of stuff here about uh basically the, the idea that what's good about it is it should, should keep it secure should keep it very much secure uh, but at the same time it basically takes away a lot of your personal so the idea that we need to figure out how we write letters to certain uh, representatives in certain agencies of the United States security system to find out why so watch that video of Mr. Johnson there I believe and the question and answers uh, anyway like I say Snoopy Snoopy eyes in the sky and it's good for security reasons as long as it keeps doing the secure actions and basically there's no reason it shouldn't you can if you can get into this much on information of every U.S. citizen and anybody that's in the United States and around the world, we're in pretty good shape. So the idea that uh, it's just very interesting, and I think you can see that. Uh, anyway, WordPress is quite interesting. I'm starting to get used to seeing some of the stuff on WordPress. Uh, just remember, everything that's on WordPress or anything on the internet is always separate. And uh, go down here and see if you can see some of the writing here on the right-hand side, because you can always freeze the video coming back through. I know that it's kind of annoying, probably, if I just flash through this. Don't care. I showed you the information real fast. It actually saves you time to look for it on the internet. And then you can go ahead and just freeze it and read what you're going to see here, because more than likely, you just need to go and find that video here. I haven't watched that other one. But you need to go ahead and find this video here. With This should be this title. Hank asks an essay director tough questions about. So look for that on YouTube and check that out. 
So, anyway, 